Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventure video this week. My UFO for April has landed. Um, update on the markets, how I went, and promoting fiber art. So let's get started and kick off with ta -da, my new little friend, my UFO for April. I probably started this, I can't remember if it was late 2019 or early 2020 but this is Baxter the Bilby. I probably started it and I hadn't done amigurumi very much back then and I gave up because I found it too hard but as I've improved my skills I decided I would finish this UFO. I had made the body and the ears. I got to the face and went oh god this is all too hard but I have finished him and I don't think I did too bad a job. I'll just put him up there. Now, Baxter the Bilby is a link craft pattern, which is a store here, and it is Baxter the Bilby and Friends. So there's Baxter. There's um, I've got to look up the names. Uh, open it up. It's a four fold out pattern. So there's Wanda. Oops, sorry. Wanda the Wombat. Ellie the Emu. Baxter the Bilby and Kev the Koala. They make it or want you to make it in eight ply acrylic or three weight or DK yarn, which I did. And I did use their yarn, the Lincraft yarn. Um, if I was to make him again, I probably would like to give him a go in cotton, but it might be a while before I do that. With my skills improved, I did enjoy finishing him, and he was supposed to be finished for Easter. But I didn't get there and that's because in Australia they encourage you to buy chocolate bilbies for Easter instead of rabbits because a percentage of what you pay goes to Save the Bilby Fund. The Save the Bilby Fund is a big passion of things. He really, as always, as far back as I know, supported the Save the Bilby Fund um, I'll put a photo of the chocolate bilbies he got for us for Easter at the end of this video. And he does make a regular monthly donation to Save the Bilby Fund in Charters Towers, which is south of here. He's got a little fridge magnet of a bilby on the freezer. Yes, thing is bilby mad and he quite likes Baxter the bilby. I was attracted to the pattern at the time because Baxter was the name of our little boy dog that passed away last July, who we still miss terribly. But yes, my son Reeves would like a wombat, but he wants one bigger than that. So maybe I will one day make him a wombat just for the hell of it. He'll probably have a good laugh. So that was my pattern. And Baxter the Bilby for Easter, which brings me to could I make a Bilby tea cosy? I think I could with some adaptation because I think I've mentioned before um, Bush Cozy Bombing that was sent to me by Karen Ford on our in our Make Along group. Now this is miles back to the Bush Festival which will be held this September. Everything going ahead. It was cancelled last year. Miles is a town about 1,500 kilometres southwest of here which is about 932 miles it's a fair way from us so what happens is you make a tea cozy australian themed or bush themed you send it to marianne and she and her husband are doing a photo catalog the tea cozies are exhibited at the festival and then they're auctioned off so you're basically donating them and the money raised goes to Outback Bush Charitable Organisations. On this fly, you can see someone's made Bluey, a koala, a chicken, a scarecrow. With that in mind, because I was really excited, I wanted to design my own bush tea cosy. And I had this great idea. Now, this is when you're not that great a designer and what is in here doesn't necessarily work out, even though you've written it all out and had a go. This is my first failed attempt. Uh, it does have eyes. Can you see it? What was it supposed to be? It was supposed to be an echidna. If I can find a photo of an echidna, 
I did take some when I was in Tasmania. I'll put it at the end of the video. But this looks nothing like an echidna. And I don't even think it looks like a hedgehog, which someone said it looked like. It was very disappointing. I probably sell this on my charity market stall. It will not be going to the bush cozy bombing because whatever I send there has to be perfect and I have to be happy with it. It has to at least look like what I'm trying to make. So that, and this is probably what hurt my hands because this was knitting the loop stitch with two wools together. One's um, fisherman's wool lion brand and one is a wool that was given to me, the orange by Ayani fairy godmother. But my failed attempt at a bush tea cosy. But I do have other ideas on the go. I'm currently knitting another one that seems to be turning out a lot better. It's a simpler pattern, but I would like to make a crochet bilby tea cosy because I think that would be awesome. So that was my um, finished objects and my landed UFO for this week. Um, in summary, I have been, I have complained quite a bit the last few months about the bad internet because of the wet season and then working on 5G and upgrading 5G in the area. Well, they seem to have finished the 5G and the internet's been a lot better. I knew we were about to have a plane go over. Sorry, guys. And because of that, I've been able to catch quite a few for the podcast is 10 Yarny Questions, which I have really enjoyed learning more about people. And I came across a couple I hadn't seen before. And so I decided to promote Fibre Art in April. I would give some shout outs and some other ideas. So if you're losing your crojo or knitting mojo and you're looking for a quick challenge to kickstart, there it is. The Hat Challenge with She's Got Yarn Too. Now links to these channels will be in the description below because it's not necessarily spelt the way you say it. So you, She's Got Yarn Too has a hat challenge in it going. You can make Crystal's hat or Gary's from Urban Yarn or both. And I did send her a photo of mine. You email her a photo of your hats. So if you're looking for something to, a little quick challenge or something to get your mojo going, that's it. I joined that and I will put a link. Her video was really enjoyable. And then I came across Frawlin and Friends Crafts Plus. Now, if you follow me for a while, you know I love gardening. And she's doing a decorate a plant pot challenge. You can paint it and she shows you on the video. Now, I went out to my Sheila shed this morning and pulled out an old terra um, pot plant pot I've scrubbed it all cleaned it sterilized it I will decorate that in some form and put a new plant in it just for the fun of the challenge I'll probably sell it on my craft stall they always sell well and I haven't done one for a while so there's another quick challenge and if you're looking for something different because your crojo or your knitting mojo has gone walkabout as we would say here we, as a um, thing, and I went up to the tablelands for a, a family thing yesterday. And of course, I went to my favorite news agent who stocks a great range of crochet magazines. I was actually looking for um, Crochet Now, which Joe on Joe's Web had shown us because that was really great. And there's something in that I really wanted, but I think it probably won't arrive till next week because they still had the old one. But I did. And I don't often buy magazines, buy Crochet World. They're like $17.50 here. Now, if you want to join the plank challenge, but you don't want to paint a pot, in here is you can make a hanging pot plant holder. And they're coming back into fashion. They're going really well. I used to do macrame plant pot holders, but that's really hard on my old hands now. But I might give this one a go. It uses a 40 for medium cotton and I have a big skein of cotton about um, 250 yards that I bought for another project that another one of those in my head that didn't quite look as good as what I visualized so yeah you could crochet a plant pot holder and failing that if you want to bring a plant indoors because that's all coming back into fashion you could and but you don't want to buy new pots I've just got to, I've stuck it together with a, 
you could crochet either a plant pot cover in your decor colours. So when the plant starts to look a bit sad inside, you just take it out and put another one in. That one is made in four Red Heart Super Saver various blue colours. I might give that one a go. I have quite a few of my decor colours in the yarn stash. But there you go. If you want to join Fraulein and, Fraulein, sorry, and Friends Craft Plus in her plant pot challenge, give it a go. Definitely a link below for her. Now, a couple of YouTubers I came across and finally got around to watching their um, videos is the first shout out is to Navy Freak Crochet and Craft with AJ. He does some amazing crochet and he is making the most, or probably finished it now, a beautiful rocking chair cover for his daughter. So please subscribe to his channel, encourage him and promote fiber art by being a subscriber to his challenge channel. He does some great work. The other one I came across because I really love the mosaic blanket she made is it's y.o.h crochet. Now make sure you check out the links below. She does beautiful work and that's another small channel that could use some subscribers and encourage them to keep doing their fiber art, promoting fiber art. Um, one of my um, make along group and Yarny friends that have been friends a long time, um, Runaway Needle Red Mare. She's doing a, a mosaic blanket for the birthstone make along. Guys, if you're doing that make along, don't forget to post your photos for April. We haven't had a lot posted um, right now. Pink's looking like the favorite color. So if you're not using pink, make sure you post your photo. If you are using pink, post your photo. <laughs> But yeah, I'm starting to get the twitch that I should learn to do some mosaic because it looks lovely. So they're two of my um, shout outs for promoting fibre art in April. I'm hoping that my small craft store will let me do a video on an independent craft store to promote fibre art. Um, this week I've got a big meeting, so hopefully I'll get it done before the end of the month if they let me. So guys, the market. My charity market was amazing. I had the record sales, even beating the Christmas December sales, best ever. The government did do some discounted airfares to places where tourism was struggling to encourage domestic tourism for the Easter holidays, which is promptly followed by the school holidays. And it was reported on the news that we had 75,000 people flying to Cairns that came through the airport for the Easter holidays and school holidays and they were definitely at the markets. Never been so busy. For example, I took 30 tea towels down with crochet toppers and sold 29. I came back with one. I sold tea cozies. I sold everything you could think of, beanies, and it was hot because these people are heading back home to winter. So it's like, oh, beanies. You know, it was great. It was a great day and a lot of fun. Um, I've been asked if I'll do May, but which means I have to do a heap of tea towels again. And I'm losing my tea towel mojo, if nothing else. But there you go. It was awesome market day. So guys, thank you for um, following me. And if you've watched me to the end, I've got a bit of a giveaway. So this is my backs to the Bilby pattern. And I thought... I loved it so much. Where's, where are they gone? Where are they gone? Just got to post it. Sorry, I said post it. I had to pause it. So this was my Baxter the Bilby pattern. And I went out and bought two more at $7.99 each. And if you'd like to win a pattern, because I've picked two winners, please leave a comment below and use the word Bilby in your comment. Now remember this is in English terminology, but I will supply you with some, um, if someone in the US wins it, some conversion terminology. It's fairly easy. I, I change all the time from English to US. But that is the two patterns I will give away, two winners. Now it's only going to be a short draw, so we will draw it on I think it's Thursday the 22nd, 
sometime late at night. There will be a video. Remember, you must be over 18 years of age to enter a giveaway. You must put Bilby in your comment. Give the video a thumbs up and, of course, be a subscriber for me. Um, I don't know. A lot of people don't like Hamagurumi, but I thought these would be great patterns and a way of promoting the Bilby around the world. So, yeah, sometime late on Thursday. I'll close it at 5 p.m. on Thursday the 22nd and do the draw sometime later and post a video that night. It's just a couple of patterns. I thought they... The postage won't be too expensive, even, and it's open worldwide. Yes, you can win it anywhere in the world. Bit of a rush giveaway, but that's for watching me all the way to the end of my video. So, until next time, take care of each other, stay safe, and make sure you have a crafty day making something lovely. Bye for now.